and welcome to the Arcade Saga. My name is Elkin Liesma, also known as EJ. So yes, it's already that time of year again. Well, exit time of the month. It's the end of the month, so I'm going to do my blooming update for the month of October. And yes, it's always special around this time of year because then my uh, Dendrobium chrysanthemum is starting to bloom. So and it gives these beautiful orange uh, colored flowers. Very nice waxy. We will have a close up in a minute, of course. Uh, and I was just wanted to say thank you all. I do get these beautiful comments and sometimes I just forget to mention it, but I'm really happy with them. I'm also very happy with the new subscribers and of course the old subscribers helping this channel to grow and I really hope you enjoy it. I have uh, a few beautiful videos to come, I uh, think I can say. I have some unboxings coming. I know I have a lot of plans, but there were a few that I didn't already have, so I bought them. Uh, some requests that will be next video. Um, that will be about the fail wall and how I built it. So that's a nice request, plus uh, a little bit of talk about the Cintiq, the inorganic moss that I use, uh, and more. But if you have any uh, suggestions, that is uh, basically what I was getting at. <laughs> let, them know in, let me know in the comment section below. For now, we're going to focus on beautiful blooms. And I have some special ones, I think, some first type bloomers. Maybe you watched one of the shorts I uploaded this week, but there will be a Venda and it's beautiful. Beautiful. That's enough of intro. This is video is going to probably be long enough already with all those beautiful blooms. So uh, let's dive in and left, let's have some close uh, look at some beautiful blooms. Here we go. So yeah, while we uh, started with the subject, let's, uh, let's start filming this beautiful one up close. It's an absolutely favorite. This is my husband's favorite, actually, of all the orchids. I'm not completely sure if it's that much of a favorite, but look at these blooms. So it is des deciduous, deciduous, that's a very hard word for me, but it will lose the leaves. Uh, so we will have these uh, uh, canes without leaves. But what I like about this one is that it waits until it's done blooming. So you have that beautiful contrast of the beautiful green colors on the leaves and obviously that beautiful uh, orange color, color on, the, on the blooms. Uh, personally, I liked it a little bit better compared to uh, dendrobiums that don't have the leaves anymore and then start to uh, bloom on the canes. I really like the contrast. And these are waxy type blooms. Maybe you can see it. And they have a beautiful fragrance as well. It's a very obvious honey fragrance. So uh, yeah, it's a beautiful one. And you probably already noticed that this cane is incredibly long. I'm not sure if every chrysanthemum does it, every dendrobium chrysanthemum, but mine makes these huge canes. They are at least two meters long. And uh, once I did measure one and it was about 220 centimeters. So, and I believe it's this one, this cane, this older cane that is making cakes, by the way, but anyhow, so this uh, cane is uh, at least as long, maybe even a little bit longer. I didn't measure it yet, but anyhow, it is beautiful. So yeah, I'm spending a little bit more time on this one because it doesn't bloom that long. Probably next blooming update, you will not see it anymore because the blooms are not that long lasted, sadly. But yet they are still here and fairly freshly opened. Okay, okay, okay. So let's move on to the next one. And she is again in uh, this uh, video in the Blooming Update. This is my yellow bird. A beautiful, beautiful uh, uh, orchid as well. And I have it currently hanging. I'm uh, just checking and testing with uh, a sort of hanging system. This is sort of uh, Iceland of plants over here. And I really enjoy the look of it. And because this is uh, getting quite some size, this uh, BLC yellow bird that I thought I'm going to hang it and does get even a little bit more light, which it does enjoy. And we have another spike over here. So yes, the yellow bird is uh, obviously uh, beautifully in bloom. We have a fell bloom sticking out here. Oh, uh, I did uh, yeah, the Montreux, something Montreux, and it's decided to uh, progress with a spike with, to give us more blooms. It's that time of year, so soon I will make an update on my fells. We will going on a hunt for spikes, who will get flowers and who not. I do this every year, this video. That's to come. Meanwhile, uh, we did a repot on this one last week. And look at this. this. These are the spikes that were still in bud. 
when I did repot it and it just kept on blooming like nothing happened to it and these colors are amazing such deep bright colors I think it's even these colors are even deeper than before and I think that's because the orchid is obviously healthy and getting stronger and bigger and yeah it, it does reflect um, on the growth of course but also in the flowers the quality of the flowers I should say absolutely beautiful and next to it is my uh, Miltonia Peterkamp that was in a short as well recently very strong fragrance not necessarily a very pretty one not bad but it's mm, yeah quite a kind of common spicy peppery uh, type of fragrance not my favorite but I don't mind it that much and it has a little bit of hint of burning wood in it I meant it this last year sometimes I do get in the greenhouse and it, it smells like b burning wood and that is this one so some peppery smell with burning wood yet hard to describe but yeah that that's for me that's the fragrance of this one <laughs> this beautiful purple one this trinomous beast as you can see has a still a lot of flowers there are even more over there and look at this over here probably the brassia a, a stick michael mccarthy help, did help me with the name so we think it might be that one but yeah it's beautiful and it's huge it's a very large orchid and next to it is this no idea this beautiful no id orchid so no name for it it's a supermarket find but yeah i couldn't resist it didn't have this big flowers when i bought it but yeah again if your orchid is doing well it's healthy it might get deeper richer colors as i like to call it and bigger stronger blooms just because it's healthier and that's the goal of course doesn't always happen but uh and here's a comparison with an older flower it it, it does lose that color over time but that is sort of to be expected it doesn't matter but yeah once it just opened up it's absolutely stunning so this is a Miltasia type, I believe. So a cross between a Brasia and a Miltonia, I think. And then this one. This is a first time bloomer as well. I did get this. Uh, there were two plants in one pot. I did get it from a friend from the Seabarrett uh, at Landsbergen. And I did get this teeny tiny plant and I grew it on and lo and behold, it is blooming. No name for it, but if you recognize it, please let me know nonetheless beautiful I think and in this corner we have this one opened up as well it's a, a very nice one but yeah sadly the plant itself is not doing so well I hope you can see it there but it's still there and it managed to bloom and I did let it bloom but I hope to grow it on a little bit better but very nice colors very nice colors a nice shape as well in the back here we have a few more whoops few more of these beautiful miltonia blooms but as you probably maybe already saw most of them are done blooming we had the peak we had the <laughs> where we had the most uh, flowers cloesiae miltonia cloesiae still in bloom here and this one is an absolutely favorite of mine the colors and of course the shape this is the Miltonia Enzila Barker there she is beautiful um, some flowers yeah you can see this is my Arachnelia I see it's done blooming as well but we have some flowers still here <laughs> I believe it for the last couple of months she's always in the, in the videos this is my uh, Brasia Orange Delight also become a quite a nice size plant and it yeah, blooms for quite a long time with different spikes of course but nonetheless we have blooms and more blooms <laughs> on her um, let me check up here we have also no, uh, still a Miltonia in bloom quite nice blooms as well but some are going over as you probably can see but yet still there are some uh, some kind of good looking flowers then down here we have a new one I had it in bloom before. This is my uh, Chalotini Linda Boccoli. Beautiful flowers. 
and we have several spikes we already have some that did bloom we have another spike over here down in here as you can see and maybe you saw it already but down here we have another one and you can see a new bud up there how do we do this there we go <laughs> it's there we go a very nice one it's also becoming quite a nice size plant so that's why i put it on this little table so i can see her a little bit better and showcase her better in my videos but nice new root growths new bulbs so that's uh, beautifully, of course, as you see here, <laughs> I mean, so many flowers on that A-stack, it's stunning. This is what we want. What more can we want from a plant? Absolutely beautiful. I know I just showcased her, but not this side. It's absolutely stunning, if you ask me. The billabongs are still in bloom. So the brush is billabong and this is the Alba version. Like I explained earlier, I in this case like this one a little bit better. I really like the green and the purple, the contrast of those colors together. Mm, we have a few left on my Verona. Also nice and in the back here are a few more. Um, Shilip Tolkien, this is about to going over. You can see it's dark and Talk about those colors. Still okay, but it's a little bit more orange brown coming. <laughs> and on the lip, you probably can see. So those flowers are going over, but we have a more fresh spike over here. Oh, yeah, there we go. So that is that one. And we have another spike over there, as you can see, hopefully. Um, and this one, this is no ID. Brassia type. With a flower. Yeah, I think that's the last one. And then we have this beautiful one. So yeah, it's, whoops, I'm sorry. It's a little bit harsh filming. Let me try this way. Yeah, there we go. So I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Green carrot, I believe it's called. And next to it, oh, I did remember. I don't remember the name on top of my head. If you want to know the name, please let me know. I will uh, gladly let you know, no problem but I cannot think of it on top of my head. Down here, there's a white Dendrobium phenoliopsis, no name for it, but nonetheless, it's beautiful. And it has a bit of purple in there, pink, some pink, pink, purple color, really rich color. <laughs> and over here, we have another white one. I believe those were two in one pot, but I did split them because they are not completely the same. I, th I believe that yet still there's a little bit of purple in there I'm sorry they those are the same yes I'm sorry because the spike is hitting this way so I thought it was from coming from a different plant but no it's this spike I, I apologize these are a bit fresher and that's why we still see that pinkish purplish color on the lip and in the center so it's the same plant then we have a, whoops, it's a little bit hard filming today because the sun is shining. I'm not complaining, but filming is a little bit harder. But look at this one. Do I have a name for this one? I don't think so. Let me quickly check. No, no ID. Yeah, purple, I keep calling it. Just a no ID. This is absolutely a different white variety. This is probably the Dendrobium phenoliopsis coconut, coconuts. A coconut dream. Yes, there it goes. Coconut dream. Just starting to flower. Very, very nice. Um, next to it, we have this one again in flower. Normally, I don't have much Dendrobium phenoliopsis blooms this time of year, but they are still here. But we have some uh, bud blast because it's does get a little bit colder at night. They don't really like it, but yet they still decided to bloom. I'm not complaining, but like I said, normally I don't have blooms that much around this year, if I uh, remember correctly, at least not this amount. Um, this is the puff something, I believe. No, this is the dragon jade. I apologize. Dendrobium phenoliopsis dragon jade. Very beautiful greenish green colors on that flower. Up here I have my uh, blue happiness. Beautiful spike still there. 
And then I believe, thi I believe this is called, um, wasn't it Spain? No, it's uh, Dendrobium Phenoliopsis Candy. Commercial name, but it's called Candy. So that is this one. And she has another spike, whoops, over here. <laughs> So yeah, touching the roof, but I don't have any room anymore. And then we have this beautiful uh, dendron phenolopsis over here. Yeah, it's a little bit hard to film these flowers, but they are a nice bluish purple color. I hope you can see. I apologize. It's very hard to film with this big round. <laughs> very strong. And this one does have a name, yes, it's Dendrobium burana blue. So it's called blue, it's a nice purplish blue color. Behind that one, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit for you guys. Um, oh, I'm sorry for the shakiness. My camera, this is a new camera, I need to get used to it. There we go. I found the, the yeah, look at that. Ta yes, this is better. Taiwan's black. So we have several blooms on that one. It's a beautiful deep red, almost black here and there color. In the center, it almost does look black, doesn't it? Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. So yeah, quite some uh, dendrobium phenoliopsis still in bloom. Speaking of which, this is the purple happiness. Nice spike, nice spike, and we have more buds, as you can see there. And a few more over here, that's from a different plant, that's actually from this one. This is called banana chocolate, chocolate banana, something like that. Some flowers are going over, some are still nice and beautiful. Quite a spike, and that one is trying to make more spikes, and this is what I'm Whoops, referring to there goes the bud. So yeah, I have a little bit more bud blessed because I think my nights are getting a little too cold, almost too cold for these guys, but there's not much I can do. Then we have my Sherry Baby uh, Ruby Doll. And I, I like this one, the flowers. Look at this, it's for a Sherry Baby. I think this is one of the ones that gives the most beautiful flowers. It's a very nice purple or reddish color. Beautiful fragrance, still yet for me the same fragrance as a uh, more common Sherry Baby, but the blooms are just a little bit more nicer to look at, I think. Personal taste, of course, personal taste, I know. Um, then we have the Dendrobium, Roy Takanara, and I probably have the Nora version here. Not completely sure, but look at this. Beautiful, right? And yeah, maybe you saw it, but in the back we have more blooms. <laughs> but these are a little bit easier to film. Then we have one over here the, that is done blooming with this spike, but, and this is the actual Puff uh, 56, strange name, Dendrobium. But here is a, a freshly opened spike, and you can see it's quite yellow. It does change a little bit, it does get a little bit more creamy. And I love this one when it just opened up and the shape of the flowers. Absolutely beautiful. Very, very nice. Then we go down, because here's also a Dendrobium phenoliopsis in bloom. This is the Spring Eclipse. So Dendrobium phenoliopsis Spring Eclipse. Beautiful, nice flowers. And this is the biggest one. Look at these canes. I could just get them fit <laughs> on this shelf. Crazy. So yeah, they can uh, become quite big. Let me go over here. This is the Nobly. I did an update on my Noblies after I poisoned them. And this one decided to put out some flowers. So yeah, it's blooming on a little bit of an odd time of year. But nonetheless, look at that. Still beautiful. Of, yeah, still beautiful looking. <laughs> Down here, you guys, this is a uh, blooming beast, we can say. This is Dendrobium hibiki. Look at that. I should turn that. Uh, it's stuck, I think. So you can read the tag, actually. <laughs> like I said, hibiki. Beautiful. Beautiful. This blooms for quite a while, so if you like 
Orchids that bloom for months. Probably you want this one. Beautiful, very nice, strong colors on that one as well. So let's uh, get over to my vendas. Well, before we do so, let's have a quick look at my Sturbik. Uh, I need to turn around. This makes filming a little bit easier. Yeah, I love it. So this is Odonton Glossum Sturbik. I had it from the Inca orchids. Yeah, very, very beautiful. Fairly long lasting flowers as well. So let me uh, turn around again without making you die skizzy. <laughs> Here we are, the Venda. Look at this. I recently find the name for it, well, at least the commercial name. It's called Venda Magic Pink. And it's such a short uh, name for it. It's coming from the Ansu Orchids from the Netherlands. They have it on their website, and that's how I f did find my uh, name. Well, actually, I was looking for the uh, Blue Magic. I had it once, and not that I have much room left for my vendors, but that's one I said to Mars, but I want it back because it's so stunning. And I did find it, so soon we will, we will have an update, an unboxing. But that's how I find this name. So this is uh, the Magic Pink, and I will have the Blue Magic as well. So. And we love magic over here, don't we? Yes, in that corner, you probably already saw it. Let's start it from the tip of the spike because this spike is incredibly long. Look at that. I'm not sure if it even does show up that well, but we have a very, very long spike. This is a first time bloomer. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? These are facing a little bit more downwards, as you can see. But look at these flowers. This is my uh, Ren Venda, Ven no, I'm sorry, Ren Ven Venda Dio Mane. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. And it didn't come with much roots. So it took me, I think, about three years to get it to bloom. And it did uh, grow very, very well. The event itself is quite, quite large as well. Beautiful roots and you have a thrinormous spike. I mean, look at my hand. It's very, very large. If you compare it to this one with the big flowers, that spike is probably half of this one. So yeah, I really need to watch this tip of the spike, which is not even done uh, growing, as you can see, that I don't break it off. <laughs> I hope so. Next to it, also a vendor coming from uh, Ansu from the Netherlands, is Ocelot uh, Mokka. And it has quite some cakeys, I believe there are seven cakeys, with my biggest vendor, the Mora plant, <laughs> over there. And this cakey, one of the cakeys decided to bloom. And this is how they open up fairly freshly. Beautiful yellow with an almost black color. It's a dark pink color. Beautiful. That's, this is why I bought it. I really enjoy the colors. And when it's almost done blooming, it looks more mocha, I believe. <laughs> so this is an older spike. Very, very nice. But yeah, these girls are getting big. I did change the setup. I did film it a little bit. I will make a video about it. But yeah, I did change my setup. I needed a little bit more room for these uh, huge vendas. Uh, let's start with my over here now with the new section of flowers. <laughs> with the BLCs, this is the Binosa. Again in bloom. Yeah, she's stunning. What can I say? A beautiful lip with a very nice sort of lime green sepals and petals, star shaped. And like I said, look at those details on that lip. Two flowers. And I have another direction of uh, growth. And but sadly, that spike aborted. I don't know why, but yeah, so we don't have that spike. But luckily, we have this one to enjoy. And then, whoops, next to it, we have the Why Not, still in bloom. This is a fairly new one in my collection. Very, very nice. I really enjoy this one. Then here, one of the favorites. She is still here. She's still here, but she's about to go over. This is, um, oh, I need to check again. Brasso Cattleya Kiwi Vi Galaxy. 
Yeah, this is one, absolutely one of my favorites. Beautiful yellow colors and that lip. Absolutely stunning. And down here we have that beautiful bluish one. And that is sadly about to go over. But I have another spike coming there with three buds. Final blue, that was the name, yes. But yeah, you can see it's almost going over. Soon we will have some fresh ones. My Wilbur Chang, that opened up. So moving on. <laughs> and uh, we have a look at this beautiful one. This is R R L C. Oh, I can read the tag very well. Let's put it in the screen so we can pause it if you want to know more about it. Golden Leopard. Very nice, quite large bloom actually. As you compare it to my hand. Beautiful colors. Nice lip on there. Yeah, it really uh, looks nice if you uh, have a look at amongst all that green i really enjoy those big plumes in between there like this one look at that uh, i cannot find a tag i think oh here's it this one wait a second yeah i bought it with this snow white white brittle 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 i don't know how to pronounce it but nonetheless oops i'm sorry very nice catleya absolutely very nice so that is that one let's go over here not much here yet we have some butts on my chantilly lace so that will be in the next update but we have this one it's a no id but look at this beautiful yellow Miniature Catleya, just st starting to bloom. If I remember correctly, this will um, become more creamy. So the color will change a bit. And she has more to come, as you can see over here. And I believe somewhere in the back is another spike. Well, actually it's opening there in the back, as you can see in the middle. There, you see two, <laughs> two flowers just about opening up. Yeah, very, very nice, very nice. And then we still have blooms on my Leodoro. Beautiful fragrance, two new fells, get from Insa and one that I bought from Luc Arcadien, if I remem remember correctly. Oh, I'm almost forgetting this beauty. This is the Vietnamica. Let me zoom in. First time I have this one in bloom. Not a huge spike, I'm sorry. Oh, it's hard to film, you guys. <laughs> there we go i hope you have a uh, bit of an idea of those beautiful blooms very uh, almost odd shape i could say i think but it is blooming so that's nice and we have still this beautiful yellow file and two bellinas uh, i believe this is the bellina pink and the green bellina so i thought it's nice to put them together I think that is the most blooming here. Let's go inside of the orchid room. Yeah, we are halfway now, I believe. <laughs> but you guys did let me know you didn't mind the longer videos. Even uh, I had some people ask me not to rush it too much. So I try to film them not too long, but long enough to have some details like this beautiful Miltoniopsis. Still in bloom. Very nice flowers. I think this is the Haim Ono Maui Falls. I think that is this one. That is the only one currently blooming for my Miltoniopsis. So we're going to move on. Well, this is almost done. Um, let me take it off so we can have a better look at it. So yeah, these blooms are not long lasting. Where do I put it? I have so much stuff going on. <laughs> Don't fall, please. I'm sorry you guys, I have to improvise because the spike was a little bit too long. And this is um, Ada Glossom French style with a root in the tag. 
and I like it because of the colors, the br br yeah, brown color with a uh, nice orange color. Uh, they're not very bright actually, but it's a nice, nice color combination. Yeah, that's, that was a word I was looking for. <laughs> I like it. Fairly simple, but nice to say the least. So Ada Glossom, French Town. Yes, I think this spike is already going over. So that is nice. I will put it back in uh, a minute. Let me have a look over here because we have this beautiful Nelly Isla blooms over here. This is the orange one. And again, it, it doesn't show up very orange on camera. I, I apologize as far as I can see now. But believe me, there is some hints of orange in there. <laughs> This is a more uh, yellow-orange color. And this is Sandera, Sandera Ra Mariana Sander. I will show you quickly the tag. <laughs> I apologize for my pronunciations. There we go. I hope you can see it. But as usual, if you don't understand what I'm talking about, which I understand sometimes, please let me know. I'm happy to give you the names. But I try my best, but these, these names are very hard to pronounce. Luckily, I'm not the only one I hear. <laughs> uh, maybe they show up a little bit more orange. Same Nelly Eiler, orange type, but a different spike. Yeah, I think you can now see the orange a little bit more. We need a bit of daylight, I believe, to uh, let that orange show up. Beautiful. I love the fragrance. I love the fragrance, personally. This is the Swiss Beauty. The more common one, also still in blue. Yeah, like I said, quite a few people that I met online didn't like the fragrance, but personally, I love it. I don't know why, but it's, yeah, I don't don't understand why people don't like it. It's such a beautiful fragrance. Uh, Sotoanum, Ancidium Sotoanum. And look at that. Also a nice fragrance, so you can uh, imagine the smells that I get over here. Stunning. So that is this one. And I did get a name for this one. This is an orange. Orange is almost a theme for today. We started with orange flowers and I realized that I had quite a few orange flowers. But anyhow, this is a uh, yellow dance, uh, no, I'm sorry, an orange dancing lady. I, I have it for a few years now, I think for two years. I didn't even know they existed in orange. So I bought it and one of you guys let me know, this is the name. Orange Delight, or probably the name I should say, you never know for sure, but I'm pretty sure that is this one. And it's, uh, yeah, like I said, I had it for quite some years, but it didn't grow very well until I put it in a net pot with uh, a little less water in the reservoir down there and lo and behold as you can see it's becoming quite a nice size plant and we have now five spy four spikes i'm sorry four spikes and quite some buds to come so yeah this is the setup i believe for her twinkles could some have could have look a little bit better i know but we have some spikes they are coming but this one yeah it's still growing it's not in bloom, but my twinkles are not doing that well. I try to get them a little bit better. And even though this has a nice big bulb, as you can see, and there's some work to do for me. <laughs> yeah, a uh, public favorite, I could say, a viewer's favorite. It, sadly, it curls this uh, sepals and petals backwards quite, quite a, with quite an amount, I should say. So I try to straighten them up a little bit so you can have a look at this phenomenal bloom. Last time it bloomed, I call this a piece of art, and oh, I'm sorry for my shakiness. Uh, and yes, it, it, it still is. It still is. Look at this. It's stunning. It has two blooms. Yeah, I don't know why it started curling up this bloom so much. We have a few to come, I believe, but it does. So the shape of the flower is this time not as good as it was before. But anyhow, here is the name. Alcelaria Havanian Nights. Well, a promising name, but um, it's also a promising orchid once you get it to bloom. It's absolutely stunning. Yes, so she is in bloom again. 
next to this one quite a nice spike quite some flowers on this guy or girl whatever you want to call it um, where this uh, where's your, your tag of course way in the back let me put a flower in screen and the tag so you know which one to look for if you are interested in and this one be a Lara Linensis white yeah beautiful beautiful to say the least not much down here currently but look at this isn't this nice yeah again a little bit sunshine I'm, I'm loving the sun don't get me wrong but it's not really helping today with filming but I hope you are seeing what I'm getting at this beautiful dark red color with a fairly bright yellow in the background this is an on, uh, odontoglossum and odontocidium type um, yeah I have it uh, as ontodos, uh, onto Autoglossum <laughs> Red Ruby. I tried to speak too quickly. I shouldn't do that. So yeah, quite some flowers. We have one, two, three spikes with branches. Some buds falling off because this has the aphids constantly and doesn't like the alcohol on there. I noticed. So I should take them off by hand. The aphids, but yeah, you can see beautiful beautiful flower i love the colors on this one the well, same story goes with this one well actually about the aphids it was freshly opened but yes i know the brown staining on it i can call it same story it has the aphids and i sprayed it with alcohol uh, the day before yesterday and yesterday i noticed it looks like it's going over while it's fairly fresh so it doesn't take the alcohol very well some flowers some buds or some plants i should say have this most of my plants do not mind alcohol on their leaves i'm sorry on their spikes and buds but some do and it happened to be that these two guys do not like it but nonetheless, a cymbidium, by the way, <laughs> my first cymbidium in flower for this year. And we do get more, and not all of them, but this one, my oldest one, as you can see, has currently three big spikes. And I noticed the other day we will get another one starting there. So that's good, that's good. Let's have a look over here. I didn't even notice these flowers when I was watering, but here, yeah, the background is not very nice, that's an old leaf. This is the Oncidium purpurata alba. There we go. Beautiful flower. Sadly, the plant is not very healthy, but it's starting to get better. I believe it had Fusarium. But you can see, we have roots in a pot and it starts to bloom. So I keep it just like this. I don't throw it away because I do not share water. But this plant I always keep an eye on. And it's making a spike as you can see. So it will have more blooms. Let me turn around, if that is even possible. Katarina Sock. We said in the last update it's now done blooming. But my Ludicia, my jewel orchid, the Alba version, as you can see, has several spikes. Let me try to get those leaves from the cymbidiums away. And they are doing very, very well. I never had them this big, the jewel orchids. There is a yellow one. That's the more regular one, more common one. And jewel orchid, where are the leaves there? <laughs> and this is, like I said, uh, yeah, they call it the Alba version because of the greener leaves. But this one is already starting to bloom and I expect we will have more in the near future of the other ones as well, more blooms. Yeah, it does look nice, the sunshine, but sometimes it's a little bit hard to film. Yeah, and this one is about to go over. You can see it; lo it's losing the color. But nonetheless, we have a few blooms on here. This is the red Cheyenne, I believe. Or Cheyenne, probably is enough. No ID. Flowering, this starts up with a very nice yellow brown color and then it fades slowly into a more white and brown color. 
I prefer them a little bit better when they just opened up. But soon, as you can see, we will have them again. There's another spike. Oh, and actually another spike there. So yeah, coming, coming months, we probably have this one in bloom. And this one is blooming. This is... Oh, I need to check the tag. Rintgonia Violetta from home. It's a nice plant. It's a nice plant. Nice details, nice color. Fairly easy to grow this one. Next to it I have the Alba version. Which is having a bloom, but it's behind the LED. You can see there. It's, well, it's just about opening up. This is its second spike. Maybe you saw it the last time. And then I showed this very large spike. But you can see the flowers are going over. But soon, probably in next update, I hope I uh, have some fresh flowers on the Alba version. Let's get over here, and of course, my um, Pragmapidium. Uh, no, not Pragmapidium, of course. Paphiopedalum. Here we go. <laughs> Pinocchio Alba. Two flowers. How long do I show this one in my updates for now? I think for over a year, probably. And you can see that spike. It, twists and turns twists and turns that is the spike from last year and this is the newest spike so far it's it's way bigger already and it's getting a bit top heavy but it's better otherwise it would touch the roof obviously whoops with this dancing flowers currently <laughs> yeah it's it's a beautiful one very nice one to have it's it can give you blooms constantly constantly absolutely beautiful and then also, of course we have this beautiful white one just starting opening up again let me quickly check for that name it's probably puffy puffy white lady or a cross with a white lady i'm not completely sure but it has definitely white lady if i if you look up the white lady it looks very very similar so it's beautiful and you can see on the right over here we have another spike so i have two grows and a new box beneath that bloom so we will have uh, double flowers hopefully hopefully i think we will we will look at that it's beautiful beautiful so yes, you guys, at this point I have no idea how long this video is, but it's a blooming update and like I said uh, earlier in the video, uh, a lot of you guys let me know that it doesn't matter if they get a little bit longer because it's always nice to have a look at some beautiful blooms and I completely understand. Uh, this is, uh, goes the same for me when I watch other growers doing their blooming updates. Uh, I cannot get enough of them. The downs downside is like uh, with my own plants and the plants that I see online is that I... Uh, it always inspires me to get some new plans so yeah i have a few orders uh, going on and also in november i uh, i'm planning on going to uh, landsbergen again the open house so yeah i might find a few beauties there over there as well anyhow it's a beautiful hobby and um i really really enjoy it as usual if you have any questions or requests maybe you want to have a look at some plants or uh, questions about the growing system etc please let me know and if i can i will make a video uh, videos about it because i like to know what you guys would want to know about my plants and how i grow them and uh, for now, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. And I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.